Over two thirds of UK workers have said that they're going to continue some form of remote working even after we're through these unprecedented times. Stay with me because I'm going to turn you into work from home gods with these five tips to make your team's meetings run smoother. Hi there, I'm Charmaine and welcome back to the Business Mobiles channel where we teach you how to run your office from your phone. If you haven't already, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button now to make sure that you never miss out on one of our fabulous apps that will help you run your business better. Now I know that many of you just discovered Teams for the first time during lockdown, and some of you have been using Teams for quite some time, but Teams is the app that just keeps on giving, so today I'm going to bring to you five tricks that you may not know on how to make your Teams meetings run even smoother. Now I've heard from so many of our customers that say that they already had the Office 365 licenses before lockdown, but they only really discovered how amazing Teams could be for them once they were having to use it to collaborate with their Teams remotely. If you've not actually used Microsoft Office Teams before, stay on the channel for our general review of Microsoft Office Teams to see what else it can do for your business. If you've already discovered Teams, I'm pretty sure by now you can't live without it. So let's move forward and teach you how to be a pro with your Teams meetings with five of these unique tips to make your meetings run smoother. Let's dive right in. Okay, so when we launch a meeting, oftentimes we start off from calendar, but today we're going to go straight to Teams and launch our meeting from within our channel. So here's my team channel. I'm gonna to go to general and I'm gonna launch my meeting right from the camera icon. I can either do meet now or schedule a meeting. I'm going to choose meet now. I'm going to give my meeting a name, YouTube demo for meetings. I have my camera switched on and I have my mic switched on and I'm gonna go ahead and join. So my first tip is for those of you who are used to doing video conferencing from your bedroom, but sometimes it's a little bit embarrassing because maybe your bedroom isn't quite as tidy as you would like it to be. So that pain is soon cleared away. If we go to the ellipsis, go to apply background effects and right here at the top, we have an option called blur. So when we apply that, my background completely blurs out, which means you no longer see my messy bedroom. Now we do have all the different 3D images as well. I personally think they're a little bit tacky, but some of them in, in the Teams actually are quite good. Our second tip is for when you're presenting PowerPoints to your team. If you go up there to the share content icon, click on that and go down to PowerPoints and I'm opening up a PowerPoint that I'd already loaded. And here I can now scroll through my PowerPoint at my pace, but let's just say I would like my team members to be able to scroll through that PowerPoint at their own pace. Here, where the eye is, I have it on privacy mode, so that prevents anybody from scrolling ahead. But if I click that off, I now I'm giving permission for my team members to go through that PowerPoint at their speed. So tip number three is very useful for team presentations if you're wanting to mind map, for example, with your team. If you have a phone or an iPad or a touchscreen computer, you can simply go into share content. In the bottom right hand corner, you'll see Microsoft Whiteboard. Now, as my whiteboard has loaded, you can see I've got an option of all these different pens and I can do whatever I like. So. I'm not very good at drawing, so I will demo with my infamous stick figure. He's very happy, despite not being very beautiful. And let's give him a name. And there we go. If I want to share this whiteboard later, I simply go to the toggle wheel and I can export the image. Next up, point number four, if you are in a meeting with your team members, you want to keep great notes of your meeting and all of the action points. So simply go up to the ellipsis, click meeting notes, and a little sidebar appears. You can click take notes. And now the screen will open up to my meeting notes. So I can just say, let's have a look. Tuesday, 8th of September, 2020. Um, learning five tips 
for better meetings. Now, what's amazing about meeting notes is that all of your previous meeting notes are all stored in exactly the same place. So you can easily go back through these team meetings and scroll through what was happening the last time. So finally, in Zoom, a lot of people really enjoy the breakout room feature. And not many people know this, but you can actually do breakout rooms in Microsoft Office Teams also. All you have to do is go across to your channel, click the ellipsis, add a channel, and let's call it room A. And then we're going to add another channel and call that room B. Now let's say you're having a team meeting with your team members. You can ask them to go ahead and go to the channel and join the meeting in room A or room B, depending on what you've allocated them. So these can be your breakout rooms. So if I go to room A now, I simply go to the video icon and start the meeting. And notice even though I'm in this meeting, my other meeting in the main room is still going to be running. So let's have a look. So you'll see two icons there. Similarly, if I want to join Team B's room, there we go, join now. And there we have it. We have all three rooms are operational. When I'm done, all I have to do is go back to the main room and join the rest of the teams. And there we go, five tips to make your meetings and teams even more professional. What I really love about Microsoft Office Teams is that you can do everything from your phone. You don't even need to be sitting at your laptop. Over the coming weeks, my fellow optician, Shane, will be reviewing some more in-depth tips and tricks on how to make teams work better for your team. That's a lot of teams. So if you've enjoyed the video, then remember to give us a like and stay on the channel to find some more incredible business apps that will help you grow your business. They say there's no I in Teams, but there is a Teams app on your iPhone. So make sure that you download it and check out what it can do for your business.